Community members in Nogales are still mourning the loss of Officer Jesus Cordova, who was shot and killed in the line of duty on Friday while attempting to stop a carjacker. David Murillo is now under arrest, accused of killing Cordova. Jesus Cordova's body was taken back to Nogales today after an autopsy was conducted here in Tucson. News 4 Tucson's Lumpita Murillo was in Nogales when the motorcade accompanying the officer's body arrived, and she's live right now with more for us. Lupita. John Officer Jesus Cordova is back in his hometown, a place he loved and a place he died protecting. At least 45 motor officers from various state and local agencies accompanied Officer Cordova's body and led the hearse to Martinez Funeral Home in Nogales. His body, draped in a flag, was met with officers saluting him. His family was also there. It was a tearful atmosphere. The Nogales Police Department had its flag at half staff, as did the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Department, where the officer worked for over 10 years. He was a well-rounded officer, uh, was a good officer, an excellent officer, committed uh, to the profession, obviously committed to public safety in this community. Like most of the officers that we hire, they're, they're homegrown. Uh, they want to do something uh, for the community. They want to protect the community but never expecting anything like this to happen. That's the worst case scenario. The man charged with the officer's death, David Murillo, is in the Santa Cruz County Jail under a no bond. His next court appearance is scheduled for Wednesday. Reporting live from Nogales, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. And a public viewing of Officer Cordova will be Friday, May 4th, and a mass will be held Saturday, May 5th. You can find all the details on our website. Once again, it's kvoa.com.